Hey, good morning everyone, Jen Russo Davis, and I am coming at you from my home office right now, getting ready to go to the gym, but wanted to make a quick video, well, who knows if it'll be quick, but <laughs> I'll try, um, reading lots of posts, and I see this, I've seen this many times, where you see people in leadership positions post about what others have the right and the authority to post about and what they don't. And I saw one yesterday about, you know, if you're going to be a leader, you can only post about what you know, and you kind of have to, you know, hold back. You can't really make, you can't um, post, you don't have the authority to say anything or without the results to back it up. And I kind of looked at that and said, hmm, yes, true, true, but everybody in this space and you can tell me you haven't done it, but I'm gonna still call you out. Everybody has stretched the truth a little bit around here. Everybody. And I don't mean outright lying, okay? There's a difference between dishonesty. Like for example, when you see people holding a handful of $100 bills and saying, this is the day that I had today, join my biz op, and that's like the last 700 bucks in their account, or posing with a fancy schmancy car that's not even theirs. Hey, join my biz op. You know, <laughs> that's just silly stuff. And when you do that, it comes back to bite you in the butt. Because when you talk to somebody and they ask you, how'd you do that? You're not going to know what to say. You're not going to know what to say. You'll get caught. But there are people out there who make posts about the results they have gotten, even if they're this big. And But you know what? It's worded in such a way where you could read it and say, gee, that person's, you know, that person's a leader. And it, they might not be at the level of leadership that you think. And to me, that's okay. Because how else are you going to start? How else are you going to start? The only thing is you've got to be prepared to walk your walk. And when you talk to them, you need to still come from that place of success, results driven, and authority and confidence. But damn, post what you know, post what you've learned, even if you're still in the beginning, post the results that you've gotten, even if it's, if it's just small, like um, I've seen people say, well, my business is in profit now. I can show you how to get into profit. I am, which could be true. They could make just enough to cover the auto ship or the monthly subscription fees and maybe a little more. But someone might read that and think, you know, you're making five figures a month. You're in profit because to them, that's profit. So you're not lying. But... Or even Facebook, I see so many Facebook ads promoting other people's results as their own. Are they lying? No, because they'll send you a PDF created by someone who has gotten that result. I mean, it's so tricky. But here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing is that, you know, I want to get across that if you're going to succeed in anything, you, everyone has succeeded in something, everyone's done stuff. I don't care who you are, you've done stuff. And to be 10 feet tall and bulletproof, you have to really get that, really get that you've done stuff, really get that you have value. You have gifts, you have value. Just because you haven't achieved a certain goal in this space here yet, and I say yet, doesn't mean that you don't have value. Don't make anyone out there make you feel smaller than you are. Like, well, if you haven't, because sometimes I see other posts and videos where it makes it almost sound like if you haven't succeeded here then you don't know what you're doing you're not motivated and you're just not cutting it okay now that being said disclaimer like danny johnson says you have to weigh your ego with your bank account and see which weighs more so if you're learning something and you're trying to achieve something learn from somebody who's been there open your oh, empty your cup open your mind even if you've accomplished something somewhere if you haven't done it here, you have to be willing to learn. But don't let it make you feel less than. You're just opening, you're just creating your success portfolio and you're adding something new to it. You're not starting from scratch. This newbie idea of being a newbie to me is just like declaring that you're not 10 feet tall and bulletproof. I'm a newbie. You're not. You succeeded in something. And you know what that means? You've used the exact same skill set to get there as you will here. Because really, you may have to learn some new skills like how to write copy, how to make videos, how to market on social media, blog, but it comes down to this one thing. If you succeeded in anything in your life, and you have, you learn to walk, right? You learn to read. You learn to maybe do a sport. 
you've learned because you had the desire, you knew you wanted to do it, you took action repeatedly and consistently, consistently and relentlessly until you did it. That's how it's done. And you opened your mind and learned the skills you needed to learn from somebody who has been there. You want to learn to walk when you're a toddler, a baby, you watch your parents, you watch people around you. You want to learn how to read and write, you listen to your teachers at school. You want to learn sports, listen to your coach. Same thing here, you have a mentor who's going to teach you things, you have to be open to listening, but don't let anyone make you feel like you have to do it in a certain time frame. Okay, success and money love speed, but your confidence is everything. Everything. So you need to build that. It doesn't always come overnight. But realize that you can pull from what you've already done. You do have value. You are 10 feet tall and bulletproof. And you can, you absolutely can declare the victories that you've had no matter how small. No matter how small. Generated one lead today? Woo! You know, I know how to generate leads. It's true. Okay? I mean, just declare and share your value because everyone has it everyone has it and if you just help one person if you just inspire the one man isn't that just isn't that what this is about right doesn't that isn't that just worth this priceless so don't waste your time talking about well if you ain't doing it you're not gonna get results because you're not taking action or you don't have the authority to post about that and you don't you know why waste your time? If people aren't taking action, that's their own problem. Why even talk about it? If you're a leader and you're someone who's 10 feet tall and bulletproof, people are going to follow you because you're going somewhere. So share what you know, share where you're going, and they will come. All right, so that is it for now. It's back to it, baby. Back to work. <laughs> back to the hustle. So this is Jen Russo Davis, the queen of can do, the MLM medicine woman of the White Buffalo tribe, the priestess, the high priestess of prosperity, and the lady of legacy, baby. I will see you guys later. I'm going to say peace out. I've never said that before. I think it's so cool. Peace out.